This video shows some examples of best linear approximations that are best but not good. So the example here is that the true conditional mean function, or CMF, has this quadratic form x plus x squared. The axes don't really matter, the shape is more important here. Uh, and we'll assume there's no error term in our model, so we just have y equals uh, x plus x squared also. Um, that doesn't really matter in this case. So if we're thinking about a linear projection of y onto 1 and x, so in other words, a straight line. We can see basically whatever straight line we draw, it's not going to look that impressive, right? If we draw that kind of straight line, doesn't look very good. If we draw you know, that kind of straight line, doesn't look great. Um, there's no way to get a really nice looking linear approximation of this quadratic function. As a specific example, if x is a standard normal distribution, then the best linear approximation or the linear projection uh, turns out to look sort of something like that. Uh, doesn't look particularly good, right? Uh, the only other thing I want to point out in this video is that, again, this best linear approximation depends on the distribution of x. So if I happen to have a different distribution of x where uh, instead of being distributed uh, normally, we were maybe very concentrated in this interval over here of x values, then my best linear approximation would try to do a good job of approximating the function in that interval, but then outside of that interval there's either little or no weight. Uh, it can get very bad. So Depending on the distribution of x, you can get a very different looking linear approximation uh, because it uses that distribution to try to match the parts of the true CMF uh, at the more likely values of x.